eLightExpert.com. Uh, today we're going to go over our Next Gen series. Um, these are our Next Gen 2 series lights. Uh, we wanted to show you the flexibility, the options, uh, just get a little bit more in depth with these for you. Um, so first off, uh, we want to go over the drivers. Most important component in any LED um, is the driver um, with these Next Gen series, series 2. Uh, we use the Meanwell drivers, same thing on the, the original next gens. Can't go wrong with Meanwell. You want to use a top quality driver. Meanwell's uh, the big name out there when it comes to drivers. You can see this 300 watt driver, uh, very large, heavy driver. Um, strong driver to make sure you're getting the job done right and you've got something that's going to last a long time. Uh, this is the 150 watt here, uh, 150 watt driver, a little smaller. Um, you know, we're looking at a hundred watt or a hundred dollar driver over here, maybe seventy dollar driver here. So um, a big portion of this light is in this high quality driver. So uh, keep that in mind when you're um, making any kind of purchases. We stick with top quality components to make sure that you don't have to worry about problems down the line. A um, couple other features we want to show uh, how easily ac accessible uh, the driver compartment is. Six screws, small plate that goes over top of that. A um, couple different uh, things to point out here real quick. Uh, we've got the driver in there. You might not be able to see it here, but uh, there is a photocell receptacle on the top here. You may be able to see that if we get an angle there. Um, that slides through the, to the top of the light, which you can see over here on the 300 watt version. Um, simply receptacle uh, comes in, you've got your lines going in. If you were to bypass that, um, pretty simple job getting the bypass. Uh, photocells and bypass caps, uh, optional for these, whether you want to go with the photocell or skip the bypass. Like I said, you can bypass it internally. Why even go for that when you've got a bypass cap? Keep it real easy. Um, one of the other things is the, the um, changeable mounts. We've got a slip fit mount on this right here. Um, there is the arm mount direct mount option. Gets you two bolts um, to bolt it in. Um, the slip fit's gonna slide over a T-non two and three eighths down to a two inch uh, pipe. Uh, screw down your screws and you're good to go mount it. Um, this also allows you to angle this around. Um, there is one eight millimeter uh, Allen key in here or uh, bolt so that you can loosen it so you can pivot it, take it all the way out. You can take this mount off and swap it out for the other style mounts. So um, easily swappable. Um, change mounts, you buy a bunch you want, you don't know what you're going to use them for right off the bat, which kind of mounts, you can always change the mounts at any point. So um, a lot of flexibility with the mounts. There is a few other uh, mount options, a yoke mount, um, but keep those in mind, mounts are flexible. Next thing I wanted to go over was We've got a motion sensor option with these lights. Um, it's a microwave motion sensor here, so you've got a really top quality motion sensor. Um, this is basically going to mount in uh, the plate in place of your original plate. Um, if you get these, they come with the two different sizes depending on which light you get. Uh, so you would just make sure you've got the motion sensor on the size of plate that you need. Um, get it wired in and you're good to go. So. Real easy to add a motion sensor on these if you want to use the motion sensor. Um, uh, as far as other options, uh, there is different lens options that we can get special ordered for you if you are looking for anything different, different type of lighting pattern. Um, lens, lots of screws, pop those off. Uh, everything in here is sealed up good, waterproofed, uh, gaskets everywhere to make sure that you've got good waterproofing. All right, uh, next thing we're gonna go over is how easy it is to access, get to this driver, uh, make any adjustments if you need to, you need to swap out the driver for any reason, these are fully serviceable. Uh, make, we try and make it real easy, that's the, one of the fantastic parts about these lights. Um, 
So since we've already removed the plate, uh, did the first job, makes it really easy. Uh, where the, the wires are running into the mount, uh, there's a couple screws um, just to make it real easy when you're pulling those wires out, loosen those screws, there is a gasket behind it. Uh, just make sure when you're doing the reverse, you get that in nice tight seal, uh, and tighten it back down for waterproofing. Um, so I've, I've, I've already removed those, so it's going to be a little bit easier for us when we get to this point. Uh, there's also four bolts. Um, on this one, it's a, a hex bolt. We've got, a, I believe it's a three millimeter on this. Um, on these, that's holding the, the driver down in the casing there. Um, so I've loosened those up for the most part at this point. Um, next thing I really wanted to go over is um, the wiring on this. So uh, lots going in if you're, you're a layman and you're doing this for some reason. Um, keep in mind a good way to, to keep these all straight, you might want to tag them. Throw some tape on there, keep things um, straight so you know what's going to what. Um, otherwise, if you're used to the colors, this should be fairly simple. Um, when you get in this, if you're swapping out the driver, you are basically going to just pop your all your clips here. Uh, if it does have wire nuts, you may have to cut those back, but you can pop off all the quick connects. Got our grounds disconnected, our neutrals, and our hard wire powers. All right, so got all the clips off there. Um, keep track depending on how, how you have this going. If you've added a motion sensor, um, wiring is going to be different. Um, for the most part the same, but where you have things clipped in together and uh, matched up, you may have some additional things in there if you've got the motion sensor. Um, so once you've got all your wires disconnected, uh, now, Got a couple more that are actually going to the LED panel. Uh, once I get this out, uh, point out a couple things on the driver here. Get these all disconnected. Now, the last little bit on these hex nuts here. Um, so this driver, just to let you know while we're, we're working here, this is a dimmable driver. So um, we do have a second set of wires going in through um, the mount. Uh, so one set's going to be your dimmers. Uh, dimmer wires. Uh, the other is going to be your your power neutral and ground. Um, so it would be pretty obvious, but the dimmer should be capped off uh, off the bat. If you're not using them, just leave them capped as is. Now the driver. Now that we can get this out here, you can see uh, we've got the dimmer wires here uh, that are running back through, uh, and we've got our leads that are going to the the LED panel itself, uh, your power lines in, coming in from the, the through the, the mount, just like your dimmer wires. Um, so that can be disconnected there. Uh, you can leave this wire in your dimmer wire. You are going to want to pull out of there. Uh, so try and slide this out. Be careful, you don't want to damage the gaskets, but this will slide out. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, it may be uh, helpful to loosen the, the mount uh, as you're pulling these wires out. So now, quite simply, we've gotten this driver out. Um, reverse operation when you're putting the new driver in, make sure you're matching everything up. Um, neutral to ground, or neutral, neutral, a ground to ground, um, like I said, uh, Tape it off, uh, mark them if you need, uh, so you can keep an eye. Another good example might be just taking a picture of each wire. That'll, that'll help you down the line so you can take a look at what you got there. Um, but that's the, the main story with the drivers as far as if for some reason you do need to service these, like I said, with the Meanwell drivers, um, you are not gonna have to worry about this. These are high-end drivers. Um, but if for some reason down the line, you do need to service the driver for any reason, uh, pretty easy getting that all done. So hope that helped out. If you have any other questions, feel free to give us a call. Okay, um, we wanted to go over some things with regard to the, the drivers and access to these um, 
our lights. Um, this is an X Gen 2 series. We've removed the driver from this one. I'm going to point out a few things on the driver for you. Um, but um, we've opened this up so you can see that you know there's a lot of different things that can be done with these. It's, it's not necessarily just to get to the driver. You may be adding a um, motion sensor, uh, changing and bypassing the photo cell, depending on what you're doing, but uh, you do have access. These, these are made so you can get in there and do what you need to do with the light. Um, so, main thing I wanted to go over here uh, was the, the drivers. Uh, we've got a couple different examples here. This is the 150 watt. Um, we've got the 300 watt here. Um, first thing I wanted to go over was the, the versatility with these on voltages. So, these will work anywhere from a 100 to a 277 volt. Um, so, whether you've got hot, neutral, and ground, or a couple hots and a ground, um, it's going to work. Um, in place if you've got the two hots you're just going to use the uh, the hot and neutral so the black and white wires on here um, directly up to your two hots uh, these drivers are made to handle that so you don't have to worry about it uh, depending on your power source uh, there is also drivers for high voltage going up to a 480 uh, volt um, so there's a lot of differences uh, with these drivers but just having the ability to um, have a driver that covers a huge voltage range uh, and different types of input voltage. So you've got AC in, uh, depending on what it is, 100 up to 277 with these. Like I said, we've got high voltage options if you've got a higher voltage. Um, so AC in, DC out. Um, DC out's typically gonna be where between 36 and 48 um, volts DC. Um, as you can see on these, they do give you some color coding on this. I uh, just want to point out uh, you've got your, your power inside here um, with your white, green, and black. So your white neutral, black um, hotline, and your ground on the green. Um, uh, we've got the two lines coming out. One which is going to be the dimmer. Uh, you can see the, the dimmer lines are noted on the top. Uh, coming up on the top here, and then your lines that are going to be going out um, to the LED panel itself. Um, so keep in mind this one, we've got blue and white here, obvious blue and white, you can tell it's there, uh, black and red. Um, all the colors are matched, but one thing we did want to show you that on occasion you may come across something like this driver here, um, where the colors don't quite match up to what you think. Uh, so we've got the, the dimmer wires and your lines that are going to be going to the, the LED panel itself. Um, LED panel, you've got blue and brown. Um, looks pretty straightforward, blue and brown. Uh, now the dimmer wires here say gray and black. You have a blue and brown again, or at least it looks close to that. So you may see uh, some wiring on occasion, especially with the, the differences between the different standards on wirings, uh, European, uh, most of the rest of the world versus the, the US colors on standard. Um, so you may see some differences. It's going to be pretty straightforward as far as what you're using, um, crossing them over. If you ever have trouble, you're not sure which wire goes to which. Um, there's plenty of information online, but you're always welcome to give us a call. If you have any questions, we want to make sure you get this job done right, no matter what you're doing, and help you out in any way we can.